Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to use Flux together with LoRa to generate amazing images. If you are not familiar with LoRa, there are training steps that you apply to your base checkpoints so that you can generate some particular styled image. LoRa has a very small size so you can use them easily. In this video, I will show you how you can use Comfy UI to generate images using Flux and LoRa. So first, please go to the hugging face. There is Xlabs AI. They published some amazing LoRa. You can go to the address, go to the files and the versions and grab the one you like. So for example, you can grab the art one. I haven't tested all of them, so I will try some of those. For example, I will try, so because we are using the Comfy UI, we will use the Comfy ones. Okay, so let's try the realism, try the scenery, also try the Art one. So once it's uh, completed, you come into your Comfy UI directory, your models. There is a directory called uh, Loras, and uh, drag the one into here, the art one, the scenery one, and uh, the realism one here. After that, you also need to make sure that you have some of the checkpoints here, like uh, the dev, the shen. Now, so both are in place. And please refer to my previous tutorial on how to install that. So in, at this point, please go to my GitHub repo to grab some of the workflows. So I will use some base workflow and I will show you how to convert them so you can use LoRa for that. So for example, if you want to get the Chanel checkpoint one, you, you click uh, download the raw file. So that way you can use that later. So let's go back to our LoRa, to our Comfy UI web interface. Let's uh, drag the file we downloaded onto it. And you can see that we have the Flux Chanel. It requires four steps. And we also have the manager in place here. So we can, so to, in order to add the LoRa, it's very, very simple. So you're starting from your load checkpoints, you click the clip, you drag it onto somewhere that's empty and release it. The Comfy UI manager will smartly detect that uh, you want to add a node. So there is a search box up here and you can type in the LoRa. And we see the second one, click that, and that's it. And then we can drag the right side clip to the clip text in code. So this is your positive prompt here. The second one is for the model. You drag the model to the load LoRa node, release that so they can connect it. And then on the right side of model, drag that onto your case sampler. So this way it will complete that. Okay, make sure that you have your checkpoint ready. Chanel one. And then we go to back to the Hugging Face Xlabs page. We can see some examples here. As we can see that uh, we will try to use some of the example to see if our setup is correct. And, and we do see that there is an example for the scenery Laura. And let's grab the prompt. And later we can compare our results to the example image to see if it looks right. We go back to the Comfy UI, we do get the text encoder box, and we paste what we copied. And we do see that there is a trigger word, the scenery style here. Okay, with that in place, we can start our generating, and let's press the Q prompt.
we see that it's uh, completed. And let's look, take a look at the resulted image and uh, compare that to our example image. We do see that it looks uh, quite nice. All right, so I think uh, there's lots of potential that you can try. So I will also include uh, this workflow to my collection page. So that way you are able to use that directly. But do feel free to modify your existing workflow. So, so I think that adding the Laura part is really easy. I think you can basically try lots of different Laura, different uh, prompt and uh, generate some amazing images. Finally, I want to share some tip that uh, for the Laura node, I think uh, you better to adjust uh, some of the parameters such as uh, the strength. For example, I found that uh, point 0.7 can be a really good uh, sweet point. I think it can greatly increase the quality of the output. Please give it a try to see how it will impact your generatings. For more examples, here are several of my using of the Laura to generate uh, flux images. I think they all look great. I hope that you enjoy my video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos. See you. Goodbye.